good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a special video for you guys. In today's video, guys, I am going to show you a bunch of fantasy attire WWE figures you can make yourself. So this is going to include any figures that you know you can switch around and make a brand new attire, you know, like a fantasy sort of attire out of your WWE figures for your pick feds, for your action figure matches. You know, you get a figure from Mattel, you don't necessarily like it, or you want to spice it up. You don't want just the, the Royal Rumble 2017 Rollins. You want to spice it up, switch a few parts around, and get your own brand new attire that he rocks in your company, or your pick fed, or your action figure league, or whatever the hell you want to do. So today, guys, I got a bunch of fantasy attires to showcase to you guys that you can make yourselves. This is no paint involved. I'm not involving any paint whatsoever and these are all ones that you can make yourselves. If you guys end up doing these, please shout me out on Instagram in your story or post it or tag me or whatever and I will definitely check it out, share it on my story and like it and, you know, let you guys know how it goes. And if you guys can come up with any of your own, I would for sure like to see them. So with the last being said, guys, let's go ahead and move this shit out of the way and walla bam, walla bushka, get this shit out. So you guys can see we have all the customs right here which we're going to go through. I'm going to tell you the parts we need. I'm going to tell you the figures you need. All the parts you got to switch around to get the attire that we're talking about here today. And uh, you guys can go about them for yourselves. We got a handful. I think we got like 30 maybe 20, maybe maybe less, maybe more. I don't freaking know man. Let's just let's just dive in and shut the hell up. So starting off guys, I want to start off with these two Rey Mysterios. Now we did do these on action figure appointment. Again, you can make these. These are the Elite 69 Rey Mysterio and the Elite 72. So this is the Elite 69 Rey Mysterio and this is the Elite 72 and all we did was switch the boots and the hands I think and the arm gauntlets and the heads. So you're going to switch the heads of the Elite 69 and 72 Mysterios. Put the armbands over here. <coughs> Almost vomited. Switch the hands and then switch the boots and you end up with two nice little fancy attires. I really love the way the green, white and black and white stripes tie in. I love the way this figure looks from head to toe. Um, one thing I'd like to do is buy another one of the 72 and then paint up the head sculpt with the green green instead of the black mask and put it over here and I think that'd make this figure look a lot better. I just love these striped boots. I love the all white too, don't get me wrong, but the striped boots right here are super fire and you know the little undie looking stuff we got going on right here with the gloves looks super clean and these are two great Rey Mysterios that you can make yourselves and there's actually a few Rey Mysterio swaps you can do but I only included these because I don't have them yet and um, you know actually I do have one more that I'm going to grab real quick. So here's another Rey Mysterio that you guys can do. All I did was take the Elite 67 and I arm swapped it with a different Rey Mysterio. I can't remember which Rey it was, but it, I can't remember. But I switched the arms off and then I put the gauntlets and the gloves on this figure from the Elite 67 Rey Mysterio anyways. Or maybe it's a different Rey. Maybe it's like a smaller glove Rey. Uh, maybe a basic. I don't know, but I just love the way the gauntlets look right here. A lot of people want me to switch the shoulders out, which would also be fire, but nonetheless, this is a sick attire, and again, you can take these boots off and put them on other figures like this one, or you can put them on this to get an all-black look, which I do plan on doing and showcasing in a video, so there's a lot of Rey Mysterio swaps you can do, which we'll probably do later down the line, but there are three for yourselves if you want to make some fantasy attire Mysterios of your own. Moving forward, guys, we got a couple Roman Reigns. You have the MDT Champion, which both of these require zero paint whatsoever. You have his Hell's Gate attire, and then you have his Royal Rumble slash every, you know, every show attire right here, which is pretty much just an Usos figure right here from the bottom half. We torso swapped it with the Roman Reigns with the shoulders, arms, and head sculpt. Nothing too crazy right there. If you guys don't know how to torso swap and you still want to make a, you know, Usos bloodline Roman Reigns for yourselves, all you have to do is take an Elite 65 Roman, which is this. Switch the legs out with some Elite 47 Cena, some Elite, what was it, what was the other one? Elite 40, Elite 40 Cena, Elite 47 Cena, there may be another black short Cena out there. Switch those shorts out because they're all on ball joints, Roman Reigns and John Cena are on ball joints. Switch out those legs, switch out the lower legs with some Uso figures from the past, and bam, there you go. I mean, the, the leg paint's a little bit off, you know, it's not the complete right skin tone, but if you wanted to, you, you could repaint it in the skin tone, you could repaint it in white, you could repaint it in red, you could repaint it in black and it would still look super fire. So if anybody wants to do that, now that I'm looking at it, I think red right there and you stop where the white line is, that would actually look badass. It looked like he was wearing red tights like the Usos have rocked in the past. Athletes rock them. I, I think that'd be sick as shit, man. I may actually do that. Damn, now I'm motivated, bro. I gotta, I gotta try that. But there are two different Bloodline Roman Reigns that you guys can make. Moving ahead, guys, we got an Aleister Black in here. This is the new, is it Elite 72? No, Elite 73 Aleister Black. You guys can see with the silver gray trunks. You got the red 
gray Mysterio wristbands on there that I added because he didn't have any on there and it looks kind of odd to me. We put elite cash in Seth Rollins knee pads on it with the lower legs as well and then the regular NXT elite Aleister Black kick pads to tie into the black and gold and so you have black kick pads with these silver gray trunks. He actually wore this at Hell's Gate and it's, an, it's a fantasy attire that you can make. Again, no paint required. You just switch out those parts and it's all good to go. Really easy swap and it makes him taller. It makes him, you know, a more correct height and it does get rid of the spiked boot but, you know, it's a different look. It's something a little bit different that I didn't see anybody else do. So, you know, it's a little fantasy gear. Next up, guys, we got a couple Finn Balors in the house and these are, are immaculate. I freaking love these. I got a lot of great feedback on these. These are so freaking nice. You got the Elite 74 Balor on the left and then you have the top talents on the right. Of course, this one does have the Elite 74 head sculpt on it but we took the uh, the Elite 74 lower legs and kick pads and switched them with the top talents Finn Balor and it made this sick ass white and silver and black attire that a lot of people loved and it is sick to this day. I love the way it, it looks. It looks so freaking clean. It's great for pick feds. It's great for anything, man. This Finn Balor fix up is so sweet. Probably one of my favorites in the whole video. And then this one's really cool because I don't think I've ever seen this one as well. I took the Elite 74 Finn Balor, put black wrist tape arms. I think I also switched out these arms with white wrist tape arms. Maybe it was Elite 74 Finn Balor arms because these were originally white. Switched those out for black and then switched the lower legs with the Walmart flashback exclusive X-Pac or six figure and it has the gold and red and black in there and it ties into the Universal Championship attire that Finn Balor was rocking with the same colors all matching together. It looks super clean. A lot of people like that attire as well. So both of these fins look great and they were a lot of fun to make, man. Though this is this video pretty much is the embodiment of my favorite part of switching up and fixing up figures is to make your own creative attires out of random figures. So let's move on, guys. We got an Elite 40 Cena right here, which is the black shorts that we were talking about for the Roman Reigns. Switch out the arms for the Defining Moments arms, which are the Chain Gang arms, and then you switch the shoes out with the Ghostbusters Elite that has the gray, black, and white shoes. And this pretty much gives you like a really cool black, white, and gray attire fully, you know, all the way down. You guys can see here, white belt, black shorts, and then it ties into all the different colors going through with the wristbands and everything. Really unique look to it. Never seen anybody else do that one, so I was really inspired to make that. I can't remember what we did. Maybe we did that on a surgery video before, but there's another Cena for you. We got this really unique Triple H that we did on surgery one time, which is kind of weird looking, but it's also kind of badass. And you don't have to worry about the head sculpt. It does have a custom head sculpt on it, but take any DX Triple H and put the Mojo Raleigh boots on it, and the lime green or the bright green color that's on the boots matches perfectly with the DX logo. And if you just want something a little farty, a little stupid, a little, you know, it's, it just, just kind of looks dumb, but it kind of looks fire at the same time. I meant to actually switch this back because I kind of want this to be accurate to the time, especially with that badass head sculpt on it. But for the video, you know, I, I went ahead and left it. It looks sick AF, and it's it's a cool little fantasy gear. And back in the day, Triple H used to rock different colored boots, so it's not too far out of the possibilities. Moving forward, guys, we got a few Rollins in the house. We got three of them, to be exact. You have the Elite 75 fantasy attire fix-up thing. You have the cash-in exclusive, and then we have the Elite 37. And all three of them have really unique looks to them. I enjoy all three of them. I would like to know down in the comment section below what your favorite is, but I love the cash-in one. We got Elite 57 arms on this guy, the Elite 75 slash basic 102 head sculpt. You got the WrestleMania 36 knee pad on there with the gold SR, and then just some black kick pads. Really cool black and gold attire. One thing I wish it had was chest hair, but it still looks pretty sick. Really unique look to that one. Um, the Elite 75, I don't really care what head sculpt's on it. I just kind of like the Elite 37 a lot, so I went with that head sculpt, and then we took some Elite 27 lower legs from Kofi Kingston, and all I did was acetone all the designs off and left the black and orange kick pads, and it just looks pretty damn sick. I, I don't know. A lot of people like this Rollins a lot, and I think I'm in that company as well. It just looks really badass and dope. It has like uh, a really unique look. Again, never seen that one before. It's just really outside the box, and it's kind of a bold attire that you could rock, so that, those two are really cool. And then we have sort of a Thanos slash fantasy attire going on over here with the Elite 37. You have the Elite 45 arms. You got the Elite 45 lower legs and kick pads, and then the Elite 45 left knee pad, and then the basic 102 right knee pad 
with the uh, the basic 102 head sculpt, if I didn't mention that before, all on the Elite 37, so it's a real big Frankenstein effort, but uh, a lot of people like this attire too. You either love it or you hate it, and I love it. I, I really don't know why. It's just kind of stupid, but it, it works out for me for some reason. I, I really couldn't explain it, but it looks, it looks pretty dope to me. I think what would make it better is if all the gold on this figure were silver. So if the knee pad was silver with like a black SR and this was white, all the white was the same, but you changed all the gold here to this silver color that's outlined right here and it matched here and it matched the knee pad, I think that would make it even better and make it more badass. But I like the gold, man. It kind of stands out on its own. So I really like these Rollins and I had to include those here today. Again, all these are, are completely makeable for yourselves. As long as you have the parts, man, really simple stuff to make and you guys can do it yourselves, but let's move on to a few more, guys. Let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room. We got Velveteen Dream here, which this is his Hell's Gate attire in the Bloodline. He was trying to mock Roman Reigns, the MDT champion, and you guys know all the accusations. If you guys haven't heard about the accusations, definitely look those up, but I'm not going to say anything about the situation until, you know, we get more evidence or we get more proof or, you know, he is actually convicted or, you know, innocent until proven guilty without a shadow of a doubt, so I'm going to wait upon that, but this figure is cool nonetheless, and I'm not going to harp on Dream when I don't know the full story and I don't know all the details of it yet, but the figure is dope and I'll do, that's all I gotta say about that one. Let's move forward, guys. We got a Dolph Ziggler here, and I know you're probably thinking, well, Brad, that one's got paint on it. Yeah, it does have some paint on the trunks right here. However, you don't have to include the trunks. Even if you didn't include the trunks paint, which I do like, if you took out the trunks paint and you just left the silver detailing instead of painting over it with black, you would still have a really cool attire where you have these black boots with the black knee pads and the black hand tape with the long head sculpt and that is a fantasy attire in itself so i'm not really going to deduct football points man if you really want to you know say that and all that that's cool but i like that figure nonetheless and i'm going to move on from it we got a few more cenas guys we actually have three more cenas you got three different fantasy attire cenas that you could use and coming in right here we do have these three and i like all three of these i think they have their own unique looks we did do these on action figure surgery as well i think you got the ghostbusters elite with the uh, enzo amore shoes and then the elite 40 arms which is a really unique look. I love the white shorts. You also have the Elite 40 Cena with the other Enzo Amore uh, shoes, which is the, you know, they're supposed to be like Air Jordan 12s, and they have the really bright blue, and they match perfectly. I thought that was a really beautiful fix up there, which is kind of a fantasy attire. And then we have this right here, which is just a little hybrid. You took the WrestleMania 34 Elite head. You put some old school arms from two different basic Cenas onto the Elite 34 camo shorts with the Milko Mania Epic Moments Kurt Angle Elite shoe. And you just, you can really mix up, dude. If you take different shoes from different figures, Enzo, Kurt Angle, Usos, different guys like that, you can really make some cool shoes and different combinations for Cena. You guys know Cena is a priority in the collection, so I'm always trying to fix up Cena's and have their own. I need, I have my big-ass Cena shelf, you know, with all the accurate attires and all the timeline stuff like that. I really need to make a shelf dedicated to just my fix-up Cena's with the, you know, just the random attires. So I really need to find a space for that. But for now, we are moving on in our video guys we got a few more here we got jack swagger in the house and jack swagger is nothing too special you know i just put on some black wrist tape arms those actually may have came on the figure but we did switch out these knee pads for some uh, smaller ones and then we gave him the hall of champion batista boots which are similar to the boot style he wore and then the red ties into everything i really like this and this head sculpt is interchangeable so he has the suited promo attire and then he has the mdt competitive attire with the u.s championship so i thought that was pretty badassery right there you have a Carl Anderson, which is nothing too special. Not really a fantasy attire, but he has worn white boots. I don't think he's worn these boots. I got this idea from Balor Figs UK, and it's a really unique look that you guys can do. And it's, I mean, it's pretty much fantasy attire, so if you guys want to switch that, you could. Bobby Trashley, another one that you guys could do. It's just Hall of Champion boots on the uh, on the Bobby Lashley Elite 69 figure with Elite 23 Triple H thighs to give him those trunks looks. And again, not really a fantasy attire, but when you consider all the switches, you got a pretty cool attire that Mattel didn't do and I don't think he's worn this exact look with the red tips on the boots so I guess you could call that little fantasy boots at least moving into the bad guys we do have Kurt Angle we got Shelton Benjamin and we have Cedric Alexander now these are pretty basic you just take the Elite 45 Rollins 
left knee pad and the cash in exclusive right knee pad and you have like a really cool like fix up fantasy attire here not really fantasy attire again more of a tweak on the attire to make it a little bit more unique much like Bobby Lashley Triple H stuff like that you just tweak it a little bit make it your own that's what you got here with this Shelton Benjamin on Cedric Alexander I don't know if you guys saw the video where we made this but we did switch this to make it look like a gear he wore on Monday Night Raw where he had all white knee pads all white kick pads and a white wrist tape over here with some other colors going on on here and I really like that attire so I wanted to make his Wrestlemania 34 gear but with those white accents so that's what we did here and it's pretty much a fantasy attire because he's never won this combination but you guys can do that for yourselves it is Elite 43 Kofi Kingston lower legs and kick pads with Bo Dallas Elite 36 knee pads and that's all you need for that unless you want a torso switch which you'll need an older Kofi for that one and then we have the Elite 66 Kurt Angle with a lower leg swap and boot swap with with the, oh God, with the Elite 59 Kurt Angle, I think, or Elite 60. It's whatever the Team Angle one is with the jacket. The jacket is custom made from, uh, I think, Threadhead clothing or something like that. Knee pads are obviously from the Elite 66, and it's just a basic lower leg swap, and that's all you gotta do. That. I think I also arm swapped it with that same Kurt Angle, and this is a Jax head sculpt. Moving on, guys, we do have Pete Dunn, which is just a white kick pad lower leg swap with the Elite 74 Finn Balor, and then we put on Daniel Bryan arms to give him the white wrist tape, and that's a pretty unique look. Never seen anybody do that, so that is pretty fantasy right there. I think what would make this better is if the stripes were in black with maroon outline, or maroon stripes with black outline would look really sick. And then to finish off our video, guys, we do have some AJ Styles figures. You have the top talents with the other uh, Elite 66 kick pads, which is kind of fantasy. I don't think he ever wore that combination. You have the Elite, uh, which which Elite series was this? Elite 51? Elite 51 with the Top Talents lower legs on. It gives it that black, silver, and gray look. And then down here we have the Network Spotlight, but a couple different combinations. You have the all red kick pads with two red arms. This one was the one I used for my WrestleMania 36 Boneyard match thumbnail where I buried the arm in the yard. So I have yet to clean that off and put that back. So uh, we'll do that when we get to it. And then we have the top talents AJ Styles with all blue kick pads with the white faces. This is from the Elite 56 figure, and these are from the Elite 56 AJ Styles to put on the network spotlight. And if you're wondering about these kick pads, I think they came off the Elite 61 in the USA gear. One of those kick pads came with the network spotlight, and the other is from that AJ Styles in USA gear. But I think that's every fantasy attire that you guys can make yourselves that's in my collection. You know, I just part switched it and put those together, and uh, I just wanted to make this video because I wanted to showcase some fantasy attires that you guys can make yourselves, and uh, that is how you do it. I showcased all of them. I'm sure if you went back far enough, you could find the exact videos where I made all these because that's usually what we do on the channel is I make up these attires and then film them. I could probably make my own series off of that, but uh, we usually keep that on action figure surgery or action figure appointment, but that is pretty much it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Um, again, this is my favorite part of the, of the collection of the hobby is putting a bunch of figures together, creating our own attires and stuff that I can use in the pick fed that are pretty unique and just kind of coming up with some stuff that's off the wall and exciting for you guys, but let me know what your favorite fantasy attire switch around is. Personally, I really like the Raleigh and I like the Rey Mysterios. I like the Finn Balor one right here too. Um, it's kind of hard to decide. I really, Again, I love the Elite 75 orange kick pads one. Uh, I like a lot of the Cena's. I mean, it really just kind of depends on what you guys are feeling, but I, I call myself getting all the ones that I thought should belong in the video. I probably, again, left out a couple here and there that I accidentally left out, but that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below your favorite one from the video. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My name is Toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.